Hello everyone, welcome back to another season of British Columbia Vintage Film Episodes on Real Life. I hope you've had a great summer. Today's episode is a look at winter 1962-63 in Revelstoke and the Columbia Valley before the construction of the Keenly Side Dam in 1968 and a brief look at ski jumping on Mount Revelstoke. The Keenly Side Dam resulted in raising the water level of Arrow Lakes and the Columbia River below Revelstoke. The tiny settlements of Greenslide, Sidmouth and Arrowhead would disappear as a result. This winter footage will likely bring back memories of life in the valley. Dynamite was sometimes used to clear ice dams. To what effect? I'm uncertain.
The Mount Revelstoke Ski Hill site, northeast of Revelstoke and just within Mount Revelstoke National Park, has a history as old as the settlement itself. A local miner introduced Norwegian snowshoes to Revelstoke as early as 1892, and the first ski club was organized the next year. From 1915 to the late 1960s, annual ski jumping competitions were held on Mount Revelstoke, the longest period of any Canadian ski jumping venue. Revelstoke was the biggest natural ski jump hill in Canada and internationally recognized as one of the best in North America. The length and natural grade of its 600 meter hill made possible jumps of over 60 meters, the longest in Canada. It was also the only hill in Canada where world ski jumping records were set 1916, 1921, 1925, 1932, and 1933. Beginning in the 1930s, the emphasis began to shift to downhill and slalom skiing, but jumping continued as a spectator sport. As late as the early 1960s, the Revelstoke Ski Club and the park improved the jumping facilities, including building the judges tower that still stands today. The last competition in the park was held in 1971, 56 years after the first one. If you have more insights with this footage, share your solutions and details in the YouTube comments section so others can respond and collaborate. Subscribe and you'll be notified as to new releases every week. As always, enjoy. If you have an old reel and you'd like to share it, let me know. Be kind, thank you, and we'll see you next time on Real Life.